hopefully we can get it done in this recording so ready five four three two one and go the video the music is playing now we get the match going and bam baby we got a freaking recording what up enemies is your boy gizmo jacks and welcome to week nine of the iba season four we're in this week week nine we're going up against uh dutch do fighters which is coached by foxy tour and surprise surprise this is my first ever voiceover i sh I, sh I guess I should expect a voice every, every once every other two leagues, maybe, or every league at this point. Uh, so there's a big reason why I did a voiceover for this one was because the transition between like Sword and Shield and Foxy Tour, I mean Foxy Tour, the transition between uh, Sword and Shield into Showdown really just messed your boy up with his commentary. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just felt like it was too bland for my taste. So I was just like, you know what? I got to redub this episode and this is where we came here now in the original recording uh i actually had done this in sword and shield but we came into a communication error so i was just like let's just, let me just scrap that out and only put in the showdown part which you're seeing right now on the screen which i'm watching this live along with you literally so yeah now a couple of differences between the showdown match and the one on sword and shield is that this concalder was actually paralyzed originally but now it's not and the wheezing which i think i already showed but it was actually it was burned in this version but in the original it wasn't even any it didn't have any type of status condition so i really wanted to point that out and that's the only changes that were made now here's one of the uh, interesting plays of my career not nah, nah, okay i'm exaggerating the concalder switch or i mean the concalder stay on the zapdos knowing perfectly well that it has hurricane but in the original recording, I actually managed to pull off a hurricane miss and bounce back with an ice punch, which almost killed, but not enough. So that's something I really want to point out that was missed uh, that I actually just opted to take out from the original recording. So fun fact, uh, unfortunately, this one, it didn't happen and hurricane hit confused us and we killed ourselves. Well, not literally, but the Pokemon itself fainted itself, if that makes sense. So yeah and i think that's the only major differences between the original and the showdown recording other than that i mean it was perfectly clear crystal clear as possible and not really much happened in this match that should have been like oh wow i should really mention it because honestly from this point out once i lost that concalder there was no going back like i felt like i lost at that point because if you look at his team which speaking of my team uh the ones that i brought was landris and Cineroar. i was gonna say kafagrigus but it's jelson uh Conkelder, scissor and wheezing and on our opponent's side it was actually haxor zapdos umbreon weavile caldiel and slowbro now looking at the matchup there was a possibility that i could have clutched this even if it came down to a 1-0 on your boy's end it, it, it was possible but a lot of things happened on your boy's end that really i couldn't prevent it i don't know if it really mattered on the confusion on the calendar but whether it did or not it really did come down to experience because my boy was swapping a lot and it was it went to the point where at least me that i look back on it it could have been predictable from an experienced player but with someone who doesn't have that much experience li like me for your boy who's been in like five different leagues maybe yo five is not enough maybe even 20 is not enough but uh, you get the point where i'm trying to get at so i could have been e been able to predict stuff now there was i don't know if it was done here but i think in the original recording there was a a smart play where i did was swap into the wheezing where he used uh toxic i don't know on what pokemon he used toxic on uh or what mod he used that used toxic i don't remember which one it was and i swapped into wheezy and i was like boy i clutching it out here so i i think that was worth noting but anyways back onto this match and currently uh again the team fell apart i fell apart <laughs> i was like come Kelder's not here i there's not much i can do for the squad especially against umbreon the only thing i could possibly think of was like i think i i, I removed toxic i don't have toxic on wheezing but there was no uh pokemon that could have done enough damage aside from the scissor but even then it's a foul play <laughs> and that foul play could have done a big number on scissor and i would have been in a very sticky situation and still for me to even get a chance to actually win this i had a source sense there was regardless i mean i could have reduced the number of pokemons um uh on my opponent's side but i was just like nah 
I, st I still want to try to win. So I go for the sword stance, which you'll see later on. I'm, I'm going a little bit over myself because right now you're seeing the soul, bro. Well, speaking of the soul, bro, this thing was too, too good for my own good. Uh, cause it already has an iron defense up, two column mines. This thing is greedy. <laughs> Literally. It's greedy. He's gonna go for a third one. So, Fox, a good play on Fox's door's part. Like, he clutched it. So, with three, I think he did another. No, not another call mine. I think he did. But, anyways, I here, what I'm trying to do is to hopefully paralyze, which I did the first time around, but it had the lumberry. And I tried it for a second time, and no luck. I got store powered away, and. One thing led to another, Scissor is dead. I source sense at that moment because uh, there was no other way because his defense is already skyrocket as it is. And with a plus two on iron defense or plus four it is or whatever. So yeah, we got wrecked and unfortunately we lost this week. It was unfortunately a 5-0. And with that, I mean, I think I still had fun with this match. It was definitely one of the funnest matches I've had thus far on the season. And it kind of reminds me of Deja Vu with Goki Gamer when he swept me with that Tapu Fini. And this is just a... A little deja vu for your boy so anyways it was a wonderful match i loved it i could have definitely played a lot better so uh make sure to go ahead and check out foxy toys perspective which will be linked in the description below and also check out any other type of content i have on the channel if you love rpgs i'm playing uh, scarlet nexus currently have the whole series recorded and if you were lucky enough to be there on twitch i was i was live streaming this so the whole series but i'm uploading it now onto youtube the finale should be at some point in the second or third week of november uh fingers crossed and after that project ends there's a bunch of other content waiting for you so if you guys are weebs and you love me <laughs> i mean i don't know why you will love me but like, you, you get it you get it you get it but yeah definitely that type of content is going to be on the channel i don't know what i'm going to do with the future of this channel i don't know if it's going to be everything all blocks other one uh or i just want to separate them i don't know still up for debate so your feedback would be much appreciated and with that i think this has been your boy gizmo gx and before anything else and i close this segment if you love gaming if you love comedy and learn learning something new this is the channel for you so consider subscribing if you haven't already and again i think i've probably said it already but definitely go ahead and fox and check out foxy toys point of view which will be linked in the description below and tell them i sent you there uh if you're if you're not already from this uh uh channel already but either ways you get the point and with that being said this has been your random boy gizmo gx and I'll see you on week 10 where we're going up against, I think it's the uh, uh, the San Jose Sharpedos, uh, who's coached by Helios. And Helios, Team Scarlet, may not have won week 9. But week 10, brother, you better be prepared because Scarlet Nexus, eh, eh, it's coming back for revenge this week. Uh, I've seen the team and it's pretty difficult, but I'm going to pull off a W one way or the other. All right, Gizmo, out.